So there's a sequence defined by this recurrence relation. Un plus 1 is got by finding a third of Un plus 10. Now let's recall what this sort of recurrence relation means. We've got a sequence of numbers. We'll label them U1, U2, U3, U4, and so on. So there's a typical term UN along here, followed by UN plus 1. This recurrence relation tells us that to get the next term, that's this term, from the previous one, multiply by a third and add 10. So going from u1 to u2 will multiply by a third and add 10. Going from u2 to u3 multiply by a third add 10. And this works, this recurs all the way along the sequence of numbers. Multiplying by a third and adding 10. So for part A, it asks us to find the value of u4, but we do know the value of u3. It's 6. So u4 would be one third of u3 plus 10. u4 is one third of u3 plus 10. So that's one third of 6 plus 10. A third of 6 is 2, 2 plus 10 is 12. So this term is 12. Now part B asks you to explain why this sequence, this sequence of numbers approaches a limit as n gets larger and larger. And basically the reason is this multiplier here. The multiplier One third lies between minus one and one. It's a fraction less than one, but bigger than negative one. And if that's the case, if this multiplier lies between negative one and one, then the sequence of numbers that you get will eventually get closer and closer to some fixed number. So explain why this sequence approaches a limit. The multiplier of the third lies between negative 1 and 1. So a limit exists. And in the last one, we're asked to calculate this limit. So let's suppose the limit is L. Now that means that along this sequence of numbers, suppose we eventually reach this number L, then the magic of that number L, because it's a limit, means that we'll be stuck at that. If we carry out this procedure of multiplying by a third and adding 10 each time, we'll get exactly the same number out. That's what the limit means. We'll always get the same number out when we do the calculations described in the recurrence relation. So that would mean that if we take a third of this number L and add 10, we will get this number L again. So let's solve this equation. Let's multiply both sides by 3. 3 times a third is 1. 1L one plus 3 times 10 is 30. Let's take away L from both sides. And therefore, that limit is 15. Now, you can double check that a third of 15 plus 10, that's 5 plus 10. And yes, we do. We get 15 again. So if we've reached the number 15, doing this calculation again and again will just produce the same number 15. We will have reached this limit L. So the limit is 15.